my life to guide me day and night. Yes, 
Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. My God. Take a grip. Take a grip. Woo. My God. Are you excited about Jesus? In spite of your troubles and your circumstances, the enemy begs. But let the enemy boss. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Take a grip. Take a grip. Another grip. Another grip. Hold on. Oh Lord Jesus. Somebody give him praise. My God. Oh yes. Thank you Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Welcome, 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 welcome. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. God is good and his mercies endure it forever. Amen. He is ever faithful, ever grateful. Amen. Praise be the God. I am honored and happy. Greetings, 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 greetings and salutation. To each and every one in the powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God is awesome. Mm. He is worthy. Hey, Ko Messiah. Hallelujah. Hey, Shanda. Go ahead and amen. Share this live. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Go ahead and share this live with somebody. Amen. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, if you have not yet following the page, go ahead and follow our page. Praise the name of the Lord so you can get notification. Amen. To all my viewers, subscribers, all my followers, amen. Coming from my page, coming from, amen, the Upper Room Church page, accept worthy and holy greetings. Welcome all supporters of this platform welcome i appreciate you i love you praise the name of jesus god is good is faithful and is worthy to be praised amen god is awesome blessed be the name of jesus glory to god hallelujah amen we get excited when we hear the goodness of god amen somebody come on let us worship him some more The light to guide me day and night. Blessed Jesus, oh Shama, Eko Sikanda, Holy Shaba Bahaya. Hallelujah! Yes, 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 yes. Put through the pilgrim land Who walked Safely through the sea It is the Christ Hallelujah Holy Ghost be my prayer, Lord, each day to help me do the best. Welcome, 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 each and every one. Welcome. All those who are following the page, go ahead and share this live. Amen. God have a word for you today. God have a word for you. God have a word for you. God have a blessing for you today. God have something for you. Amen. Praise God. Go ahead and rejoice. Worship the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. In spite of our situation. Amen. Let us shame the enemy and worship God. This pilgrim land. My God. Yes. Hear my 
feet, my feet will feel. Oh Lord, look down when I, hey, 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 kneel in prayer, blessed Jesus. When we, when we all get to heaven, Lord Jesus, come on in. We go, we go worship today. Come on in, come on in. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. For those who will be watching this live, Amen. Watching now. For those who will be watching later, Amen. Tonight. Amen. Praise be to God. Tomorrow, whenever you get a chance, you are welcome. You are appreciated. Praise be to God. Share this live on your platform. Amen. Share. Praise be to God. This video so that, amen, the word that is coming forth in a few, amen, will be a blessing to somebody on your, amen, praise be to God, your wall. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I honor the Lord. I honor my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he has been good. Amen. Praise be to God. In spite of amen, trouble on every side. When I say trouble on every side, I mean trouble on every side. Amen. Praise be to God. But nevertheless, I'm not here to talk about my trouble. I'm here to talk about the goodness of God. Because the enemy does not like when you're here. Here, when we talk about the goodness of God, he tried to crowd us. Amen. Praise be the God with so much problem. Amen. So much stress and depression. Amen. Praise be the God. All kind of things that you can think of that the enemy try to use at us. Amen. Don't want us to keep our eyes on God. Amen. And keep focus. What I'm saying to somebody today, stay focused. Stay blessed. Stay in God. Doesn't matter what. Amen. I have my share, but nevertheless, I'm still here. I'm still standing, still fighting, being very determined. Amen. Determined even more than now, coming back from my setback, coming back with full force, full fire. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And my aim and my desire is to continue with God because he is able. God bless you, Pastor Peter. Blessed be the name of Jesus. God is good. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord, Sister Freeman. Amen, Sister Clark. Amen. Praise God, Sister Campbell. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm able to see some of the names on Facebook. Not able to see some. Those will be joining on YouTube when we upload, upload it on our YouTube channel. Praise be to God. On TikTok, God bless you for those who are always supporting. Enough love, much love to you. Amen. We big up Jesus. We lift up Jesus. We celebrate Jesus. Amen. It's all about Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And I'm happy and glad for Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I have a quick amen word I want to sow into somebody's spirit. Hallelujah. Shanda. I have a quick word. Let me say that again. I have a quick word that I want to sow into somebody's spirit. Amen. I want to sow it in your house. I want to sow it in your life. Amen. Sow it in your soul, in your heart, in your mind. Amen. Sowing it in my house as well, in my spirit, spiritual house, natural house, physical house. Lord God Almighty. Amen. Praise be to God. Let us pray at this time. Father, Upon the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, praise you, bless you because you are God and you could never be nobody else but God. And because of that, I shower you with love as you shower love upon me and upon this audience. Father, amen. I just want to tell you thank you today because you are great. You're the miracle so great. You're no one else. There's no one else like you. And so God, as we put this platform in your hand. First, we ask you to wash us, cleanse us, forgive us of our sins, because God will sin and come short of your glory in our mind, knownly and unknownly, in our thoughts, amen, in our heart. So God Almighty, our righteousness is as filthy rags, so we ask you to purge us, cleanse us with issue, amen, creating us a clean heart, renew our right spirit, cast us not from your presence, take not your Holy Spirit, restore unto us the joy, the love, amen, the freedom, the everything that is needed, God, hold up, I pray, I pray, 
God clear the atmosphere, dash every demon out of the atmosphere that is not of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, shower us down with a fresh touch of fire, fresh anointing, fresh grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, move every dark cloud, move every endurance of the stumbling out of this house, from this platform. Every witches and warlocks, God, I pray they repent and turn or shut them down, shut down their works. In the name of Jesus Christ every negative prayer negative declaration come up against this platform against your people against the church in the name of Jesus shut it down through the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah let your will be done let your name be glorified God the trap the plot the plan Lord the ditch the hole that is dig that the enemy set up for God Almighty the roadblocks the stumbling block the every block God Almighty the barriers father shoot it down the walls that is not of you the Jericho wall the Red Sea the Jordan River God Almighty everything that is against us Lord for evil and not for good turn it into good to them that love God to them who are the call according to your purpose according to your will in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth bless us today and let Eba Husia Shanda and Osia in the name of Kashanda in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let your will be done Holy Ghost let your name be praised because you are God and beside it is none else in Jesus name and for the love of God he Kashanda amen thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Amen. I'm thrilled. I'm happy. I'm excited to be in the house. Amen. Praise God. In the presence. Amen. In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy at his right hand. They are pledges forevermore. Shaka Messiah. Oh, amen. And the topic that I'm going to work with, somebody just shout some amen in the chat. Put some hallelujah and some amen. Burn some fire. Put some blood in the chat. In the name of Jesus. The moment you start to lift up Jesus and exalt Jesus. Amen. The forces of hell come at you. Amen. The kingdom of darkness. My God. The principalities and power. Witches and warlocks are summons you. But we summons them with fire. With the blood. We summons them against. In the name of Jesus with the anointing of Jesus Christ the anointing of God destroy break your come against every demons and devil we shoot the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let God arise and every devil be scattered in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost and fire we bless God we bless God we bless God thank you Jesus amen praise God Almighty Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. This topic said, open thou mine eyes. It's a well-known verse. Amen. From Psalms 119 and verse 18. Open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law, out of the word of God, out of the will of God, out of the mouth of God. Glory to God. Shaka Masita. Shanda Kasaya. Shako Makatibo Shendo Si Libai Kushato Riamasa Ripo Bobo Shanda Babaka Sendo Robo Shaya Alleluia Iko Mahasia Shanda O Ketoria Si Shaiko Mahasiendo Sa Alleluia Kushi Bahaya Mighty God He is worthy to be praised Holy Ashaya Ilo masa is worthy. I can see holy shabasito robosa. God is worthy. There is an awesome presence. Hey God, in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. At His right hand, they are pledges, pledges forevermore. Praise the name of Jesus. My God, I love him. Somebody just love up Jesus. Somebody just love up Jesus. Just love him up. Love him up. Love him up. Just love Jesus. He deserves to be loved. Praise God. So the topic, open down mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Open down mine eyes. 
My eyes need to be open. My eyes, the highs to my literal eyes, my spiritual eyes, the highs to my heart. Amen. Praise be to God. The highs to my soul. The highs to my mind. My God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, can you feel the refreshing today? The refreshing of the anointing. The refreshing grace. The refreshing power. The refreshing fire on this platform. If you are sick, you are healed right now. If you are lazy, laziness gone. If you're tired, the spirit of tiredness, the spirit of weariness, the spirit of wantonness, the spirit of confusion, Lord God, the spirit of contrariness, Lord, the spirit of disappointment, the spirit of destruction gone. Everything go in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel the assignment. Every witchcraft, every demon that's on an assignment that was sent to me or to you, to my house, to your house, to your workplace. Amen. Praise God. Every demon, witchcraft that is against our finance, that is against our spiritual life or relationship with God or walk with God. I shut it down now in the name of Jesus. Somebody help me shut it down. Shut down everything that is not of God. Shut it down. Shut down everything that is up in your life that is not of God shut it down shut it down shut it down shut it down bind it up we bind it bind it we bind it we shut it up shut it down in the name of Jesus glory 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 kusha hemo nayaba siko shanda hato robobobo siya dadadabakosha thank you holy ghost liba baba saya Shada da da bo koto raba baba saya nanda da bo sha hmm hmm ah shaka masaya hmm who shama hasianda oh yes yes lord yes lord I will bless thee O oh lord with my hands lifted up and my mouth who laba shako robo saya Mighty Keto Shandala Basi, Mighty Ondolo Bosha, Dada Bakasi Ende Bosa. My God Almighty, my God, listen, it's like a well opening up in me. The Bible said the Holy Ghost is like a well springing up into everlasting life. Oh God, hey Masa, somebody praise Jesus. Laka Mashanda. Somebody praise Jesus. Hilo Moshaya. Somebody love Jesus. Kayamasi. Satori Kendusai. I feel a warfare. Koto Rabba Baba Saya. I feel Likamashanda. Hendobo Sai. Shandi Masi. Hushaya. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I declare these psalms today, that bringeth forth his fruits in his season. Glory be to God. His leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, the way of the ungodly shall perish. Don't worry about the ungodly, the wicked people. They shall perish if they don't repent. <clears throat> Ah, oh, God Almighty, why do they even rage and the people imagine vain things? Some devils are imagining vain things against you right now. The kings of the herd have set themselves, the kings, the principalities, the rulers of darkness, the wickedness in high places. Ah, oh, God, when the psalms, the psalmists are being read, look on them spiritually. David was talking about spiritual warfare. Yes, some wicked physical king and physical government is unhurt. Likewise, but they are not wicked on their own because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. It's a spirit behind them, a spirit being an entity. Ah, a goddess is behind them. Hallelujah. That is operating, pushing evil in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Rulers take counsel against the Lord and against his church, his anointed, his people, the body of Christ. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall love, the Lord shall love them in derision. The Lord then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord had said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. God have you, God have me. God have us. It doesn't matter what the enemy think about us. Doesn't matter what the devil are saying. Doesn't matter what the mouths are talking. God got us. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory. I wish somebody glory to God. Ask of me and I shall give thee the Eden for thine inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Look how me God bad. Look how me daddy bad. Look how your God where you are served bad. Right now me I declare these words and they are taking root. They are take, I'm, le I'm sending these in the atmosphere. I'm releasing these words in the atmosphere. These psalmists are declaration. You don't need to add nothing to them. Everything is well said, well put together. Amen to release and declare in the atmosphere. Tearing down, pulling down stronghold. Shatamaha, shutting down. Mama Shanda, Utabako, Sheke, Hundi Masiendo, Shaya, Lakuma Kasendo. Oh God. Mm. Lord, how oh, are they increased that trouble me? Many there be which, amen, praise be to God. Lord, how oh, are they increased that trouble me? Hallelujah. Many are they that rise up against me. Praise be to God. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. That's what the wicked is saying. Hallelujah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill of Zion. The enemy is saying what they want to say. I don't care what you're saying. I don't care what you think about me. It's what Jesus is saying, and it's about the word of God that is crumping. When the devil come to Jesus in the, in the, in, in the desert, when he was on 40 days and night of fasting, Jesus used the the word if thou be the son of God command these stones it is written man shall not live the word is written we use in the written word my God when we are weak and we are down and we are out praise be the God the enemy is whipping us lashing us all kind of things happening all kind of abuse take us but now God wash us off in our blood, anoint us and sanctify and consecrate us afresh, renew our strength, renew our spirit, our anointing, renew everything about us and put us back in the battle, in the fight. Amen. Praise be the God and said, I am with you, said the Lord. So God is with us. Is there anybody believe that God is with us? Oh, God Almighty, give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation, hearken unto the voice of my cry, hallelujah, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray, my voice shall thou hear in the morning. Oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up, for thou art not a God that had pleasure in wickedness, Neither shall evil dwell with thee. You hear that God now have no pleasure in a wickedness. All who do a wickedness. All who do wickedness to people. And things say God will back you up and God have pleasure in it. God no have no pleasure in it. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus and nothing good. Praise be the God for thou art not a God and had pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou Hates all workers of iniquity. God hate everything about iniquity. The workers who work it, God hate them the kind of something and hate all that the smarty they too. Praise God Almighty, unless you turn and repent. Lord of mercy. Kanda Hasaya. Shanda Sataya. Shakamama Sitorobo Shanda. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody go ahead and just praise him. Hallelujah to Jesus. Shiri de Bosa. Shariyama Hasiendo Lobosha. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hey, Tobo Shire. Mm. Glory be to God in the highest. Mm. Mighty God. Mashande Sai. Shadadada Basatoya. Dilo Mashanda La Bahaya. Dila Makashando Sata. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody just bless the name of the Lord. Dila Mahaya. Holy Ketaria Sito Shama. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 18 and 30 says, As for God, His way is, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those who trust in Him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girded me with strength and maketh my way perfect. Lord God, God is girding you with strength right now and making your way perfect. Who, amen, is being strengthened by these declarations? I'm declaring it in the atmosphere. Praise be to God Almighty and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like Aaron's feet and setteth me upon my high place. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arm. Thou hast also given me the, the shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand had holding me up, and thy gentleness had made me great. Thou hast girded enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. My God, we're in warfare. This is warfare. Praise be to God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I have pursued my enemies. God, this is what God wants to do, not physically. Not physically, spiritually. God will we pursue with enemy. Pursue them in the spirit. Pursue them under the anointing. Pursue them with the word of God. Amen. Declaring the word against the enemy, the wicked, every entities of darkness. Pursuing my God from glory. Hallelujah, my enemies. And overtake them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. Amen. Praise be to God. God wants us to have this assurance in him. Praise God and this determination. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Lord God, you are girded with strength unto the battle right now. My God Almighty. For thou hast girded me with strength. Hallelujah unto the battle. Thou hast subdued unto me those that rose up against me. You see what God did? Amen. Praise be to God. God subdued them under you. We declare and we decree right now. Every witch, warlocks and wizard. Witchcraft subdue under us. Praise be to God. Everything subdue under you, woman of God. Under you, man of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Everything that coming up against you being subdued right now by the power of Jesus Christ. Lord God from glory. I give the Lord praise. I give him thanks. Somebody ought to bless him. Somebody ought to bless him. Somebody ought to bless him. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Remember that he making me to lie down in green pastures, leading me beside the still water, he restoring my soul, lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will not fear no evil, for the Lord is with us. Praise God. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest our head with oil, and our cup is running over. My God from glory. Lord, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Praise be to God. For he had found it upon the sea and established it upon the flood. Who shall ascend into the hill or who shall stand in his holy place? Praise God Almighty. The answer was given. He had clean hands and pure heart who have not lifted up his soul. I'm declaring these things in the atmosphere. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your head. Oh, he gates and be lifted up the everlasting door and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, oh, he gates. He 
O ye gates, even lift them up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. I declare it in the atmosphere. Lift up your head, O ye gates, the gates of the hurt, the gates of the four corners of heaven and hurt, the doors of the four corners of hurt that been held by entities, by demons. My God Almighty, doors to our wealth, gates to our riches. My God, lift up your head, pay attention. I'm declaring, listen, hallelujah to God. Open up the doors of the hurt. The doors of wherever you're located. Lord God, the gates to wherever you're located. For the Son of God coming in. Whoa, Shama. Lord God, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to heat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. They are falling now. Look in the realm of the spirit. They are falling now in the name of Jesus. Though an ocean encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desire of the Lord that will I seek after, that we may dwell in the house of the Lord. Glory to God to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. My God Almighty, amen, praise the name of Jesus. And can we bless God right now? Hallelujah, bless the Lord at all times. And his praise, in spite of what's going on, shall continually be in my mouth. Praise be the God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They look unto him and were lightened and their face were not ashamed. This poor man cried, the Lord heard him and delivered him, save him out of all his trouble. God is coming through for us out of all our trouble. I don't care how much trouble you have. I don't care how your trouble steer. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against us. Take hold of shield and buckle and stand up for our head. Draw out your spear. Stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul let them be a child before the wind let them be turned back rather and brought to confusion that device my hurt let them be a child before the wind and let the angel of the lord chase them let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the lord persecute them god is done hey, but we will let that in the atmosphere that is taking place right now. I'm declaring it. I'm releasing these words in the atmosphere. Power is in our tongue. Power is in our mouth. Power is in your tongue. When you take up your Bible, when you go on your phone with your Bible, when you speak positive things, you're releasing stuff. Whatever you release, that's who you are. That's what you become. I'm releasing stuff in the heavenlies, in the atmosphere, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, for without cause they have dig for me, their net in a pit, which without cause they have dig for my soul. Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hid catch himself in that very destruction. Let the enemy, the wicked demon, them fall. Shanda, somebody say fall. I command you to fall right now. I command you to fall. Evil spirit, wicked spirit, demon and assignment, demon from the amen ancestor spirit. Praise be to God. Demons from blood language, from generation language, father side, mother side. God Almighty that bring curse upon our family, curse upon our generation. Let them fall now. I cut them off in righteousness and in truth. We reject them, denounce them, rebuke them. We reverse them. We, God Almighty, divorce them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. I release it in the atmosphere. Surely He shall deliver me. Deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the night some tested him. He shall cover us with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flight by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. Hmm. But it shall not come nigh thee. But only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Oh yes, you're going to see the reward of the wicked. They have a reward. My God, I don't know who I'm helping right now, declaring these words. Hold up a higher. Mashanda. Da 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 bo kotosha. Lord Jesus. Mama ketosia. Shakunda keto raba satoria. My God, I'm releasing in the atmosphere. We're releasing the word. Releasing the word. My God. Too much negative things over with life. Too much people that speak negative stuff over with life. Amen. That's why we're stagnant. So that's why, and even we ourselves, some of us are speaking too much negative things over with us, over with life, over with money, over with health, over our children. Then that's why whatever we speak, power in your tongue, power in your mouth, whatever you speak, I hit your glory, inherit. Whatever we speak, we're going to inherit it. Whatever you speak, you're going to inherit it. I eat your get. Ah, I eat your release upon you because you speak that. Lord God Almighty, in the beginning, God said, Let there be light. God speak and things happen. Randa da bo shatabakosa. Hey, So listen to me. Hashama. My God, I come with a word. But I have to release these things in the atmosphere. Break down some stronghold, tear down some something. My God will come against me. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hey, Shama Mama Sa. Listen, <clears throat> the topic that I have here. God bless you, Sister Richards. Praise be to God, Sister White. <clears throat> God bless you, Sister Reed. Amen. Praise God. Oh, Shama Asaya. In the world, Shatai. Mighty God, mighty God, Dadabusha. Amen on TikTok. Welcome everyone. Bless you, bless your heart, bless your heart. Welcome every one of our followers. We appreciate you, we respect you, we love you. God bless you. Welcome, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Keep us up in your prayers. Amen, the warfare is great. Amen, praise the name of Jesus. Amen, praise be to God. But nonetheless, we got to have a determination. We have to have a determined spirit, praise God, to make it in this age and in this time. In our generation, our dispensation, we got to be determined, amen, to see, amen, praise be to God, the next generation and the next, and to see, praise God, what God has for us in the future come to pass. We have got to be determined. The songwriter say, I'm determined. I got a made up mind. Amen. So the topic said, open down my eyes. That I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, amen. Open thou mine eyes. What does that mean? Amen. Open thou mine eyes. What, amen, is that mean? Let me first read the scriptures. Amen. We need scriptures to go with this. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Ah, glory, glory to Jesus. Open thou mine eyes. Amen. Praise God Almighty. And that verse is coming from, this topic that I have, it's a verse that is coming from, amen, Psalms, amen, 119, verse 18. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And I, I tie that with St. Luke. St. Luke chapter 11 from 30. Amen. 3 to 36. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And it says, No man, when he had lighted a candle, put it, it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on, Amen, praise be to God, but on a candlestick, 
that they which come in may see the light. Praise be to God. Amen. We're going to explain more about that in a little bit. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Amen. Praise God. So when your eyes are single, spiritually and naturally, amen. Praise be to God. You give light to everything. Everything good come out of you. But when your eyes is evil, then nothing but good, nothing good, bare darkness. Praise be to God. 35 said, take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. Praise God. If thy whole body therefore be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be filled or full of light as when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light. Praise the name of Jesus. Very good. Beautiful. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So the, the biblical term, praise be to God. Amen. The biblical term for light or eyes is sight. Sight. A light and darkness issue. Amen. Reference here or meaning. Amen. Light and darkness is Amen. Praise be to God. Light and darkness issue. Whatever joint supplies the most significant and representative of our spiritual senses is our sight. Praise be to God. Amen. That light or that eyes or that sight represent our spiritual senses. Amen. The eye. Jesus often used the eye as a Amen. Metaphor. In his parables, in referring to spiritual things, calling it the lamp of the body. So our eyes is the lamp of the body. Amen. In other words, amen. Our sense is of the body. Spiritual senses. You can see things. Spirituality, spirituality is our senses. Like our physically in our literal body, we have our senses. Praise God. Hearing, smelling, tasting, and all of that kind of a thing. Amen. Praise God. So spiritually, we got our senses likewise. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We can sense when demons are wrong. We can sense witchcraft. We can sense evil. We can sense everything that is anything that is not good anything that is contrary to the will of god the move of god and the ways of god praise the name of the lord jesus glory be to god so amen our eyes now i want to see amen the psalmist said open thou mine eyes somebody need to tell the lord to open i want to look at open because when you're blind, you're not able to see nothing. Amen. Praise be to God. And I don't want to be blind. I want my eyes to open so that I can see. Praise be to God. So the writer said, deal bountifully with thy servant from 17, that I may live and keep thy word. Amen. Deal bountifully. Amen. Restore. Give me enough. Amen. Praise be to God. Feed me with enough. Give me enough information. Open up my spirituality enough. Amen. Open up my eyes, my senses enough. Let me can detect. Praise be God. Let me can able to detect. Amen. Praise God. The things. Amen. That approach, approach me that are not of God. Praise God. And even the things that are of God because I want to get able to identify. Praise be to God. When things of God, even when you get a dream or see a vision of something, I want to can identify or detect when the thing is of God from when the thing is not of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So, 
We are asking God to open up our eyes, open up our understanding. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to know. I want to get able to see. Praise be to God. If I'm not able to see or detect or discern or to understand or know when something is evil, I'm going to be in serious trouble. My family is going to be in trouble. Ministry is going to be in trouble. And yes, we get in a whole heap of trouble because sometimes we're not at the place. God will even give us the eyes to see. Some of us are very good discerner. But when we are not at the place, praise God, everything gets affected. If physically our body is not functioning right, everything is affected. Praise be to God. If disease or virus or germs, amen, praise God, take up the body. Whatever the body, amen, attract, it, attract, praise be to God. And it take over the body and cause illness, cause infirmity. Amen, praise be to God. The finger begin to hurt. Praise God. You feel the hurt, the pain in every part of your body. You have a toothache. The toothache sense in every part of the body. All of your senses know that you have a toothache. You have something paining you in your teeth, in your mouth. Amen. In the root of your mouth, in your gum. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. The same thing in our spiritual senses. So if we're not at the place, not walking right, we're full of darkness, no light. Amen. We become evil. We become satanic, devilish, wicked. Amen. Sinful. Amen. All kind of evil stuff is going to come upon us. Praise be to God. Amen. To distract us and derail us from God, from the ways of God, from the move of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. And so we got to make sure that we stay intact. Amen. And listen, I'm not here to bash nobody. Nobody's perfect. And we all at times in our life, amen, get distracted. We all at times in our life, amen, move away from the steadfastness of God. Amen. Praise God. Problems, situations, and, and circumstances derail us from God and from his will and from his way. But praise be to God. Open down my eyes. Amen. I can't afford. Amen. Praise God. If amen. Listen. Use Joseph as an example. In spite of Joseph's brethren tried to kill him. Praise be to God. Joseph's brethren tried to kill him. Praise be to God. Amen. Them sell him into slavery. Praise God. And when he went into slavery, it didn't mess with his dream. Then after that, praise be to God, Potiphar wife come upon him. Amen. He ran away from her. He didn't mess with his dream or his gift. Praise God or his, his connection with God. If he had given or fight back, then praise God Almighty, darkness would have come in. But because he stood his ground where God is concerned, the respect for God. But praise God, how many of us, the man said, how can I do this wicked thing and sin against my God? Amen. Some of us, we fall into the temptation. Some of us, we sit in our thoughts by the things that we think. Our spiritual senses pick it up. Amen. And it contaminates us spiritually. Amen. Praise be to God. Bring some kind of, amen, destruction and discard. Amen. Praise be to God. So right there and then we're not fully connected. Amen. Something disconnect off our spiritual life and relationship with God. Maybe you're not fully disconnected, but some level of disconnection is there. Blessed be the name of Jesus. But today, somebody, my cry is, and your cry should be, open thou mine eyes. Because if you're not seeing, you're going to be in problem. I need my sight. I need my eyes. I need, amen, we could understand even though we were not in, amen, Samson's shoes. Amen, the Philistine captured Samson and they pluck out his eyes so that naturally he couldn't see, but spiritually, yes, he can see. But that was one of the most, and I'm not in his shoes, I've never lost my eyes. And, and for those who have eyes socket in them, I have their eyeball, but praise God, they are blind much less Samson, amen, that lose his sight plus his eyeball. Praise be the God. They pull out his eye. Blessed be the name of Jesus. That's supposed to be one of the most uncomfortable thing there is. When you're not seen, you can't see the enemy. You don't know when danger is approaching, when your family is in danger. But when you're able to can see, when your eyes are open, Praise be to God when you are not blind spiritually. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. You can detect when the devil is coming. Whatever hunger the enemy is coming from, you can see it at a far off. Some people are fully connected. You will see the thing, but because of your spiritual amen problem spiritual circumstances amen your level of spirituality you can only see to a certain dimension but you got some people that are nearsighted physically some are farsighted amen some praise god almighty are to perfect sight praise god spiritual is the same thing some are nearsighted some are farsighted some not seeing any at all and that's a problem right there Blessed be the name of the Lord. But today, like the psalmist, like the writer, asking God to open thou mine eyes, that I may be all wondrous things out of thy law. Praise God, even to see the scriptures for what it really is. Because you can read properly, amen, praise God, and you have physical wisdom. But if you don't got the spiritual knowledge or wisdom to the word of God, amen, you don't have the spiritual eyes to see the scripture for what it is, you will mess it up, amen, wrongly divide it, wrongly interpret it, amen, and bring across wrong revelation. And when the thing is wrong inside of you, you will bring wrong dreams wrong vision wrong revelation wrong interpretation and lead people in a wrong path that's why pastors and ministers people who angle the word of god and preach the gospel supposed to get direct revelation from god you're supposed to hear and see you're supposed to hear and see amen god asked the prophet jeremiah what seest thou what seest thou you need sight. If you ain't seen anything, Jeremiah had a good sight. He could see. He see so much that he get in trouble. Oh my God. Every one of the prophets who are seers, amen, they always get in trouble because of the sight that you have. Praise be to God. Their sight put them in trouble. Amen. Praise God. When I was a young child of God coming up, amen, praise God Almighty, and my sight, praise be to God. How oh, I'm seeing, amen, even at the church that I used to attend at the time, and seeing stuff. If somebody fornicate, I know. If anything happen, if somebody don't like me and shaking my hand, I know. If somebody hugging me and they're not with me, I see it. I know. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And because of that, I used to run in a lot of problem with people. And they, the name they give me at the, my former church was Spiritual Eyes. Because they are persons that know. They know when you're telling the truth. And they know you can see because they prove your spirit. You say things and it happens. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So they know that you can see. But yet still they come up against you. They fight against you. They say things and do things against you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But I'm encouraging somebody today. Be still and know. Just tell God to help you to keep your sight. And give you more sight behind sight. You are not able to see. I want to behold wonders. Wondrous things. Out of the word of God. Out of thy law. Amen. I want to see the good things in people. I want to able to can detect and see the negative folks and the negative things. To can able to know how to operate around them. I want to able to can see the good things in my children. And the bad things. Amen. We pine it out. We pray against it. The good things. Amen. We enforce and embrace it. And pray it up. That praise God it will manifest. And bring forth glory unto God. Out of our family, our children and ourselves. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to God. So open thou mine eyes. Hallelujah. There's a lot of scriptures that is talking about eye opening. And if we want to look at some of these scriptures quickly. God is about to open somebody's eyes. Amen. Praise be to God. You weren't seen for a long time. And because you weren't seen, many things were happening. Many things was just not adding up. Many things was not in alignment and in agreement because your eyes are not seen. You got in sight problem. Praise be to God. You have eye problem. Oh, Lord of mercy. And because of that, there is issues. Amen. Your spiritual senses are not up. 
So there are issues. Issues with witchcraft. Issues with demons. With issues with people. Amen. But when we can see, we know things before it happens. And we can deal with it. We can pray against that accident. We can pray against that gunshot because we saw it. When you can see the thing, you can pray against it. When you don't have no spiritual senses, no spiritual wisdom, no spiritual insight, neither physical senses nor physical insight, Lord God Almighty, amen, everything going to go bad, amen. When you can see things for your children, see things for your family, amen, praise God, you sometimes, you are the eyeball in your family. You are the seer for your family. You are the seer for your generation. You are the seer sometimes for the church. You are the seer, the eyeball for your pastor. Amen. Praise God Almighty for a certain family. Amen. For the country. Amen. For the nation. Praise be to God. You are the seer. Amen. And if you not see, oh God Almighty. Oh Jesus. But as somebody, God is getting ready to restore your sight. Oh, somebody ought to bless God today. Somebody ought to give God praise. Because God is getting ready to bless your sight. God is getting ready to give your sight the sight. You're going to see again. Praise God. If you lost your sight for some reason, I come to give you a word of hope. Amen. Praise be to God. I come to speak hope into you that you are going to see again. Amen. Praise God. Restoration of your senses. Restoration of your insight. Restoration. Praise be to God of your. Amen. Praise God. Connection of your contact is coming back. Oh, more is coming back. To my house. Amen. All my children have to see. Amen. Every one of us. I pray for them to see. Not me only seeing. But they can see stuff about you. Amen. And when things will be coming at you. Your way. Sometimes. Because sometimes you low. The songwriter said. When I'm low in the spirit. I cry. Lord. Lift me up. For a one. Go higher indeed. According to Acts chapter 26 and verse 18, to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me, in Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Blessed be the name of the Lord. So the word of God is letting us know. Amen. That when you are. When your eyes are not open. You are blind. Or you're in darkness. You can't see. Somebody I want to see. Is there anybody want to see today? Hallelujah. Is there anybody want to see? Is there anybody that is in darkness and you want to see? Hmm. Glory be to God. If you notice, Paul was declaring. Paul was talking according to Acts 26 and 18. Giving his testimony. His conversation concerning his experience. Of when he was in darkness and when he met Jesus by the way, that bright light that allowed him to fall to the earth. Wake up with no sight. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise God Almighty. Amen. God blind him now from the things that he was seeing before. Blind him from the earthly everything that was there. Praise be to God that he was depending on. And now God, amen, opened his eyes. When, praise be to God, Ananias put his hand upon him. Praise be to God. God blind him from the lifestyle that he was in and the walk that he was walking. God blind all of that, take all of that away from him. Amen. Praise God and give him a new sight. And the sight now both physically and spiritually was not to see things anymore as how he used to see it. Many of us the way how we are seeing things, 
sometimes God has to blind us from all those things that we are seeing too much evil, seeing too much negative stuff. And the eye is the gateway to our soul. And it's whatever you see to register. And we want to play it out. We want to manifest it literally. And that's what Paul was doing. And that's what many of us have done and doing. Praise be to God. Even today, some of us become blind spiritually. Darkness take us up. Amen. Praise God. The spiritual eyes become blind. And the physical, the fleshy eyes now open. Amen. To see good and evil. And we are clinging to evil and protrating evil. Praise be to God. Amen. When you have the spiritual eyes, the spiritual understanding, you don't want to can know good and evil. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You want to see everything pure. To the pure, all things are pure. Even somebody in sin, God is seeing them pure. Praise be to God. Amen. To the pure, God is pure. He's seeing things pure. Praise be to God. Even though you're in darkness, but God is sending his word to you, tell you to repent. Praise be to God. Amen. I know that you can make it. I know you can change your ways, your behavior. I know, praise God Almighty. Amen. Because I know the thought that I think towards you. I know who you are. You are a son of God. You are a servant of God. Amen. And you can be anything you want to be in the kingdom of God. Once you're restrained from evil. Amen. And turn to good. Oh God Almighty. Hallelujah. If my people, if my people, if my people, amen. I want to behold wondrous things out of God's law. I have to run away from evil. My thoughts have to be pure. My thinking have to be right. My mindset, amen. My spirit have to be pure and right. I have to be full of light. I have to be single. Praise be to God. When no darkness in you, you won't see nothing. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing will portray out of you. Amen. Where darkness is concerned. Everything that pure come out of you is purity. Amen. Praise God Almighty. Will be pure. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so, hallelujah. 2 Kings 6 and 17. Then Elijah prayed and said, O Lord, Please open his eyes that he may see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Praise be to God. Physically, the young man, the servant that was with Amen. Uh, Elisha at the time when praise God the Syrians amen surround besiege the city praise God and they come to take Elisha because he speak out the king's business that was in his bedchamber and they send men to fetch him amen to arrest him to capture him praise God almighty the servant was shaken my God from glory he was confused and wondering how we're going to get out of this mess. Even though he has been there a long time now with Elisha. And I've seen many miracles. Signs and wonders. Yet still the same thing with Jesus and his disciples. Have I been so long time with you? And I've not, you, you have not yet known me Philip. You have not yet known me. Many people is with Jesus. And still don't know who he is and what he's capable of. Even though they have seen it. Because sometimes we are living in the flesh, walking in the flesh, looking through the fleshy eyes. Amen. You've got to be renewed. You've got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your eyes, amen, have got to be renewed and transformed. So your sight can see spiritually, can see the things in the heavenly, in the spiritual realm. The things, amen, the plot, the trap, and the good things as well that God has store, in store. So the man's eyes was open and he saw chariot and horses of fire around Elisha in the realm of the spirit. Naturally, you can't see the horses of fire. Naturally, right now, presently as believers. Amen. Praise God. The demons can see it. Satan can see the fire. Who the fire and the horses and the angels that are around in camping. 
but to the person that's full of darkness, the devil know that you are darkness. The devil know that you don't have no light around you because your deeds are evil. So the enemy can know. But yes, he will come out for those who have light and those who don't have light. But especially those with purpose. And he knows that, amen, once God gets a grip on you, amen, his kingdom is in trouble. He's going to come at you with everything that he got. Amen, praise God Almighty, to help you hostage. I release somebody out of Satan hostage. Whoa, Shama Maha, Eko Shaya, in the name of Jesus Christ. I release you. From that hostage mentality, hostage situation, out of the kingdom of darkness, out of the hand of the oppressor, out of the wicked, out of the adversity. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. That adversary, just like Opinina, was an adversary to Anna, Lord God Almighty. But because Anna got the eyes to see, she could see that, amen, Spinina spiritually was an adversary and the devil was using her physically to oppress Anna. But God said, help. God deliver Anna and shame Penina and shame the enemy. Oh, Jesus. God don't have to kill your enemy, you know. God does shame them. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have to kill them. He just shame them. Praise be to God. There's no need unless he must. It's a situation where God has to. Blessed be the name of Jesus. St. Matthew 6, 22. The eye is the lamp of the body. So if your eyes is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. I want my spiritual body to be healthy. Just like how you take care of your physical body, your spiritual man is supposed to be healthy likewise. Praise be to God so you can full of light. Anywhere you go, you are the light. Any community, any street service, anybody you go around, any company, you are the light in the midst. You light up everybody. Your light is shining. That's why somebody can look at you and say, there goes a child of God. There goes a Christian. There goes somebody, amen, that is blood washed. There goes a blood bath one. Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. Ephesians 1, 17 and 18. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, having your eyes, having the eyes of your heart enlightened you hear that having the eyes of your hearts enlightened that praise god that you may know what is the hope to which he ha has called you what are the riches of his glory his glorious inheritance in the saints praise the name of the lord jesus you cannot know the things except you have the eyes of the spirit You've got to have this, the, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, Jesus Christ, God, the Father, praise be the God, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Having the eyes of your heart are understanding enlightened. That's the only way you're going to be enlightened. Praise be the God. You've got to, amen. So this is what the eyes of the spirit does. It allow wisdom and revelation and knowledge, praise be to God, to take place. Glory be to God in the highest. But when you are not connected to God the right way, when you are connected to another entities, another deities, amen, you got to get, you're still going to get wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of whatever you believe in. So if you believe in Buddha, Prishka, if you believe in Mohammed, Whatever entities you believe in, whatever entities you're serving, whatever idol or graven image you're serving, that's amen what you gonna portray. That's the revelation gonna come out of you. That's amen the understanding. 
That's the wisdom that you're going to portray. That's what you're going to corrupt people with. Amen. And it's going to become a misinterpretation of scriptures. Praise be to God. Amen. Misconception of preaching. Oh God. Hey, Kashanda. I know, Sire. Landa Baba Si Shebobo Sai. Shaya Makandi Mosa. Hey, Shadia Andosa. Lord, I wonder if somebody seen this. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't want to reach in that position. Glory be to God. We're amen. Hallelujah. I'm not able to can see. Amen. And I'm portraying things that are ungodly. Things that are not of God. I don't want that to happen. Believe you me. Oh no. That's not my that's 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 not my desire. So, if you don't want that to happen, you have to say, open down my eyes, Lord. Open down my eyes. My eyes need to be open. I need my eyes to be open. I need to be all wonders. I need to see wonders. Oh, God Almighty. I'm coming down, people of God. But do you want your spiritual eyes to open? Some people are just too blind spiritually. Things are happening to you and you cannot detect it. You don't know. You keep asking questions. Amen. Praise God. When your spiritual eyes are open, when you get a dream... You don't even have to ask anybody to interpret that dream for you. You can interpret that dream when your spiritual eyes is open and you're, you can able to see and have wisdom to the word of God, to the revelation of Jesus Christ. You can able to detect what is in the eye of the spirit, what God is trying to say. The revelation that God is trying to give you. You don't have to go out because many a times it used to happen to me. Ten people. You tell your dream and it's ten different interpretation. You don't need that. Somebody you don't need that. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus. So having the eyes of your heart enlightened. That you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. You cannot even know what is your calling unless your eyes be open. This is very interesting. Does anybody want their spiritual eyes to open? Just does anybody want their spiritual eyes to open? That you can understand what God is saying to you. What you can understand. That's the only way you can understand what your mission is. What your calling is. Your eyes have to be open. I, I need my eyes to be open. Oh yeah. Glory be to God. Isaiah 32 and 3. Then the eyes of those who see will not be closed. And the ears of those who hear will give attention. Once you can see and you can hear, you will give attention to everything that God is giving and saying to you. That's very good. You will give attention to spirituality. You will give attention. You will give. A, when, when you're in class, you have to give attention to what the teacher is, is, is teaching. That amen, praise be to God, you can able to understand the lesson properly. If you don't give attention to reading or the teaching, you're going to miss the concept of the lesson. You're going to miss what you should know. 
Praise be to God. The importance, amen, praise God. Just like what I'm saying right now, the importance through the scriptures. When you have the open eyes of Jesus Christ, you see the scriptures. You see scripture verse for what they are. You don't go interpret it no other way. You don't go add anything that's not supposed to be. Everything must be line. The Bible said precept must be upon precept, line upon line. Everything must be in accordance. Praise the name of Jesus. Look at Revelation 3 and 18 again. Praise be to God. Revelation 3 and 18. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich. Praise be to God. I counsel you to buy. I counsel you to ask. I counsel you to seek me. I counsel you, amen, pray to reach out to me. I encourage you, counsel you, I encourage you. And white garments or raiment so that you may clothe yourself. You may be spiritually clothed. And the shame of your nakedness, you don't want nothing clearer than this. This is just exactly what it is. May not be seen. If you are blind spiritually, your nakedness is going to be seen. If you are, praise God, amen, if you can see spiritually, your eyes are single, then you're going to be clothed with righteousness. You're going to see everything perfect and pure. And salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see God Almighty. I want my eyes to be anointed so I can see. Ashanda Messiah. Anda Makusha. God is anointing somebody's eye right now. That you will be able to see. Hey, Kashiba. Hallelujah. Listen to me. We got to use the word of God. Amen. Praise God Almighty. To match everything. The word of God after use to match every area of our life. And even everything that happens around us. Amen. Well, you ever hear some people say we are living Bible? We are living the scriptures. Hmm. Anoint my eyes. Somebody open your mouth. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Or comment in the chat. Amen. Open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Amen. Praise be to God. Somebody tell God. Amen. Anoint my eyes that I may see. I need my eyes to be anointed. I need my vessel to be anointed. I need my ears to be anointed. My eyes be anointed. My mouth be anointed. My five senses spiritually need to be anointed your physical senses your spiritual senses everything about you needs to be anointed i have to be anointed i've got to be anointed because the word that is coming out of my mouth is anointed so i have to be anointed praise god to preach the anointed word to preach the undiluted word even to pray i've got to be anointed when i'm anointed my prayer will answer my prayer will will take root my prayer will take life my prayer will tear down principalities when your mouth and your tongue is not anointed you gonna kill your life kill your destiny kill your purpose kill your future with your tongue because power is on your tongue power is in your mouth Death and life is in it. you got to open your eyes to see when you can see well you will speak well let me say that again. When you can speak, see well, you will speak well. If you can't see well, you ain't going to speak well. Praise God. You going to damn yourself. You going to speak negative stuff over your children. You going to speak negative things into your life. I curse every negative things. I rebuke negative things. I declare and decree positivity in my life, in my house, over the children, over my marriage, over my life, my wife, amen, over the ministry, over my Cell, over my body, over my organs, my members, the members of my body, I speak positive things. I declare and decree Shanda. Oda Baba Shaya. Shadio Ketoria Sandi Mashiko Si. Ha Sada Romundo Sai. I know right now that the devil doesn't like what is going on. Mm. Mm, Shanda. Go Shaba. 
Amen. Glory to God. God bless you. Jar Jardani. Praise be the God. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Amen. God bless you, Sister Dawson. God bless you. Hold up a shire. Somebody give God praise in the chat. Somebody just worship God. Amen. Your sight is coming back. Amen. For too long you've been blind and you're not able to see what the devil is doing in your life. Some people are going through some stuff and don't even know, can't even detect that it's a demon. Everything you've gone to the doctor, don't get me wrong. Praise be to God. There are situations and circumstances that that you have to aim and seek, aim and the physician, doctor's attention. But praise God, God is the biggest doctor. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes go to God first about your situation and ask God what is happening. Some of us don't even got money to pay our bills. The just shall live by faith. And if the just is going to live by faith, God going to tell you, God is letting us know that the time is coming when things is going to get so hard. We don't have money for everything. We run to the doctor. We respect the doctors, we appreciate them because they're doing a fantastic job and God made doctors in the hurt because, amen, Luke was a physician, Luke was a doctor, Luke was following Jesus, but nevertheless, praise be to God, that didn't stop Jesus from doing his ministry, from doing the work of God and fulfilling the will of God in his life, praise be to God, I'm saying to somebody now, you're putting your trust in too many things, some put their trust in chariot, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, for the name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower, the righteous run it there in and are saved. Hallelujah to God, I declare and decree in the heavenlies and in the atmosphere that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, the eyes of their understanding will open to the gospel of Jesus Christ, knowing that Jesus Jesus sent forth his son into the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the world. Praise be the God. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. But as many as receive him to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Hallelujah. His dear any sons of God here today. God is getting ready to open up some eyes. Those who are seeking God, you're going to find him. There are some folks that are seeking after God. The whole world is not lost. There are still some people that going to know God. God is going to reveal himself. They're going to accept Jesus Christ. I declare that your eyes will be open. Your understanding will open. You will see. You will be able to understand and detect the true and living God. There is a true Jesus. There is a true church. There is a true gospel. There is a true salvation. There is true grace. Oh God, my God, my God. Mama Shanda da da bo go se de de bo sha. Oh, Shando Sandoria. Lord God Almighty, praise God. The reason why I can rejoice like this and I can speak like this. Don't get me wrong. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We are oracles of God. Praise God. And we should speak the will and the word of God. Amen. If the spirit of truth is inside of you, you're going to give the people the truth and nothing but the truth. But listen to me, beloved. That doesn't mean you don't have problems bothering you. My God Almighty, there's a whole heap of things bugging us. But thank God for the anointing. Thank God for the inner peace, the peace that passes all understanding. Woo. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, Shia. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking stand. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only lean on Jesus' name. Uh, listen, I come to give you a short word. I just come to tell you, thus said God, but I realize that, praise God, God has something else in store. This is powerful. Yeah, Shia. 
somebody right now in closing I'm, I'm closing this thing off amen praise be to God I've got to leave some for another time praise the name of Jesus but receive your sight right now somebody receive sight now on TikTok Facebook Instagram praise be to God wherever you're watching from praise be to God amen YouTube amen I love you I welcome you praise God to all my followers to all my subscribers God bless you love you all amen praise God share this life share this life let somebody receive this blessing as well amen this word cannot be heard by you alone amen praise God Almighty your people the people in your contact need to know about this they need to hear about this somebody needs sight amen somebody's blind amen praise God in your house amen not everybody's seen praise God you are the light of the world but somebody is still in darkness because they need to accept Jesus Christ they need to believe the gospel they need to believe in the power of God amen amen the Bible says some trust in chariot and some in horses but we will remain we will remember the name of the Lord for the name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower the righteous run it there in and are saved receive your sight somebody receive your sight God is giving you sight today hallelujah to God Almighty God is giving you sight accept sight so you can see your enemy so you can see sickness so you can see demons so you can see and identify the blessing when it comes you can identify purpose future amen you can identify the evil the wicked you can identify darkness from light you can identify poison from something that is good praise be to God receive your sight receive your sight God said to receive your sight God said I'm giving you sight God said I'm blessing you with sight I'm gonna give you sight that you may see amen till it's gonna cause corruption in the church that you worship God gonna allow you to see so much that praise God Almighty folks ain't gonna want you around them because you're disturbing them with your sight somebody gonna can't take you because praise God your sight is giving them problem so much sight Lakush I'm seeing sight is coming to you. Sight, 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 sight. Sight. Ikobobosha, sight lika mashanda, sight utaya mahisa, sight, 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 sight holo boshaya, sight, sight in your house, sight on the road, sight in your car, sight on the job, sight at church. Sight wherever you go on the plane, you're traveling. Sight, Lord Jesus Christ, at the airport. Sight, discern everything and everybody. See through everything and scan everybody. Lord God, the discernment is a scanner. When you have sight, you can scan anything and everything. When evil presents itself, you can scan it. When poison, when bad food give to you, when a slice of cake come or a cup of tea, amen, or a bowl of soup or porridge when a when a when a when a cup of juice come and it is bad for your health my god and it's gonna contaminate your body and bring illness in your system my god the holy ghost with sight will be taken until you no know, eat it no drink it no accept that person sight i command sight sight upon my children them sight upon my whole soul sight shanda upon this platform today god send this word mama kashanda laba satoria libobo sheketar yendo lobo sa sight mm shikaya mako shendo lobo sa mama handa haya sato liba baba bashaya Lebo shando lo 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 bosa. Sight shaka basande. Ribo kosha tada bahi sata. Sight kenda hasia. Sharindo si kayu mahai. Sight 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 to you. Sight to you, my brother. Sight to you, my sister. Oh Lord, have mercy. Mm. 
Oh, Shakamabasaya. Hey, Shadadada Basia. Hmm. Hey, Shanda. Hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. St. Luke 24 and 21 said, And their eyes were open, and they re recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. Hallelujah. For those who don't know Jesus, your eyes is going to open, and you're going to recognize him. He can die. basa. You're going to recognize him. God will not vanish out of your sight until you can recognize him. Lord Jesus. Hey, God is testing somebody's sight today. Ah, the, the Jeremiah online, the Samuel online, the Isaiah online. What seest thou? What are you seeing? The, the, the Elijah or the Elisha that is online. What seest thou? God is testing somebody's sight. How well are you seeing? You go start to listen. Somebody on this platform that is watching. Somebody that is coming on later or tomorrow or whenever you see this broadcast. You weren't seen, you're going to start seeing. Amen. And the evil, the writing of your host. Somebody let me tell you something right now. Evil, the writing of your host. You take up somebody, put inside of your host. Mama Shata Mahaya. Let me talk to somebody in the Holy Ghost. Eko Shanda. You see, sight, sight is what make you can discern. Sight is what make you can read things and see things and unfold things. Ah, revelation come. Praise God Almighty. You take up a girl in your house. Somebody right now. You have a girl in your house. Amen. And that girl is evil. You shouldn't have that girl in your house. That woman there shouldn't dead it. And secretly doing evil to you and you're not seeing it, you don't know. Because you don't have no sight. You see signs are taking place with your natural eyes. But you can't detect it because you're not the spiritual eyes. I command spiritual eyes to you. Because that girl come to destroy your life. That woman come to send you to hell. To hell. That woman come to kill you. Open your eyes right now. I command sight upon you. I command sight upon you. I can see in the spirit right now. There is somebody that has some children. And one of your picnic. Good God Almighty. Mix up in a evil. And that evil going to cause terror upon the family. Can I talk to somebody? Me say you have some children. But one of your picnic them. My God. Mixed up in a some people. That going to cause terror in the family. Because of the wrong company, the mix up, it going to cause terror. I pray that your eyes be open now so you can pray against the terror. Pray against the mix up. Mama Shekoto Sia. Shanda Kataya Sato. Ribo Koshendo Kosai. La Kamanda Si Libo Shababasaya. When your eyes open, you can discern all of your children, them. You can discern who is in intercourse. Who are there with smuddy? Who have boyfriend from? Who have girlfriend in your sanctified house? When you have sight and you can see, you will see if your husband mix up him a cheat or he have other woman with you. You can see if your wife, praise God Almighty, indulging in something that is evil or witchcraft. When you have sight, I command sight right now. Shaka masata. I koto raba sande kenda si dibando sha. I command sight no. Sight. Somebody say sight. Somebody say give me sight Lord. Somebody said I received my sight. I was blind too long. Somebody keeps singing once I was blind but now I can see the light of the world is Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. Sight. I declare sight upon you now. Mashandala Bahaya. Mm. There is a couple. I'm seeing a couple. There is a couple. The couple is together. And because of the glitter and the glamour. Amen. Praise be to God. The woman can't see what is going on in the relationship. Things are happening. Demonic stuff are happening. But because money did it. And everything for comfort. But you're not comfortable. 
you're not happy. And the luxury, the money and everything blind in your eyes. Mama Shanda. That you can't see the spiritual activity. And you can't see where the man mix up in her. And some people will try to get rid of you. If you don't mind shop, you'll get a sacrifice to cause I saw some of them get their money. Amen. Praise God. After a while, blood have to shed. I wonder if I'm talking to somebody. Mm. My God. I prophesy to somebody today. God is giving you sight. God sent this word to you for you to see. Hmm. God send this word to you for you to see. God want you to see things were up a long time. Today is the day. Listen it over. It done. I see you go see now. You go see long time. Say right under your nose evil day. I write in your house. I write in your family evil day. You, have, you see them people that you keep and make a come at your yard certain and certain time. Right under your nose them I bring evil come. And you can't see it. That is for somebody else. Praise the name of Jesus. Sight. You see how, more, you see how good sight is? When you have sight and can see. Hmm. Hallelujah. When you have sight and you can see. My God. Today somebody. If you have been blessed by this broadcast. Praise be to God. Listen, I want you to pray for me. Amen. I have a ministry. For those who want to know, because somebody a question, one day the money have ministry. I wonder who he is. I am Pastor and Prophet Dwayne Murray of the Upper Room Apostolic Deliverance Ministries International Church. Amen. I was in a building, but praise be to God because of situation and circumstances. Amen. I had to let the building go. I was on a plaza running the church, but I had to let the building go. Amen. We come under pressure. Amen. Praise God. Financial issue. Amen. Praise be to God. I declare that my finance, all the devil them were black up. Amen. And I hijack my finance. Amen. And I try to dry up my finance. Every demon will dry up my finance. Amen. I hold my finance hostage. I release my finance. I speak it in the atmosphere that money will come from. I call money. I call for money for another place, a piece of land. I call for money for a building. I call for money to buy a property in Jesus' name for God Church. Eva Shanda. And anyone who God put it in your heart to sow into the ministry. Amen. Pray. Keto Shanda Labasaya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, woman of God. Sight to financial situation. Make we see where the problem lies in our finance. Praise God Almighty. Me know. Say witchcraft. And some of us, amen, them, they said halter. Praise God Almighty against the money. I come against every altar that is speaking against our money. Every altar that is speaking against the money. Altars that is speaking against the anointing. Speaking against your gift. Speaking against, praise God, your relationship with God. Speaking against your household, your family, your marriage. Every altars that set up and it is speaking against, we shut it down by fire. Ikamashanda. I draw my sword. We shut it down by fire. We chop up and chop down every altar. Mm. And we command money. We command sight to see where the money is. And release a speed to it to release money locators. Destiny helper locators. Somebody called destiny helper. Bills of a pay. Listen to me, people of God. I have a court case. And my court case, amen, praise God, is Tuesday coming, the 29th of this month. And me is supposed to pay the court. Me not afraid to talk. Me supposed to pay the court 150,000 Jamaican dollar. Praise God Almighty. Me not know where to come from. Plus it's my rent week. But me call for the money. Me call for destiny helper. In the name of Jesus. Hashama Satoria.
Glory to God. And listen, this quote thing is not a joke thing in Jamaica here. Because, amen, you can't get locked up for it. So, me know why somebody look on it simple. But that don't stop me. You see me look like me, I worry. Me not worry, I'm not afraid. I'm not get no gray here. Over these things. Because trials come to make me strong. Through this, me I go get strong. Me got quote before. And then some of you come back because that's what I hope. So I have to pay. It's more than that I hope. But then some must come with that amount. They give me a pay plan. But me say, God, me I claim money if you pay off everything. Praise be to God. And it's not, it's another church. Somebody can make a quote. Let me tell you, our minister can make our quote. Our Holy Ghost minister. Yes, I hold the money. Yes, and I'm, I'm willing to pay the money. But they, they, they don't want no agreement of nothing. Amen. Because, amen, violence is in the midst of it. Praise be to God. Wickedness is in the midst of it. Shanda. But I cut down every wickedness. I shame the enemy today. God I provide that money. They may call the money to come forth from wherever it is hidden or hindered. Mama Shato Saya. So me day I preach God's word. I'm here encouraging you and I speak into your life and I sow these words into your spirit and I give you God's word. Praise be to God. While amen, God will take care of my problem. God is going to take care of my problem. God is going to see me through. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And when you come sometime and talk about these things, people say, money you want and money you yeah, look. No, I have my evidence there. I have my proof. I have my paperwork. There's a video that is on my social media page that I did seeking help. I don't get no help. But God is my helper. God want me to trust him. You see, whatever is going to happen, where this quote is concerned, is to bring God glory. Yes. What is going to happen? Give me more money. But is to, this is to bring God glory. So I'm not worrying about it. You say if you don't give, and if you give, and I will take the glory, God now go make it up. God now go put it in your heart to give. But you see, if a God you want to get glory out of it, you see if a God you will get the glory, and you now go run, go talk, because the Bible says, well, you're right and no, no, make your left and no. St. Matthew 6 and 1 tell you, don't raise no alarm. God must be glorified. Listen, out of your situation, God is going to be glorified. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to come back on this broadcast with big, big bossy testimony. Some people are laughing at me. Yes, man. When somebody cuss me out and say, hey, amen, praise God. Hey, are you put yourself in another problem there? Are you going to take yourself out of it? I said, that's okay. Praise the name of Jesus. We all find ourselves in situation because none of us perfect. But listen, your time is coming. But this is my time now. But listen, I'm not going to make negative words. Make me not preach God's word. Make me not encourage somebody because the word in me. Jeremiah get a box from Pashur. Anybody read Jeremiah chapter 20? Jeremiah 20, Jeremiah 23. Anybody see what Jeremiah got you? That prophet they go to hell. Even though more prophet in the Bible that go to hell too. Because Elijah have to run. Elijah have to run from Jezebel. Because his life was threatened. But Jeremiah get all that box in his face. The Bible say. The, 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 the government. The king. Box him. Jeremiah said. Me now preach and teach. Me now prophesy no more. But Jeremiah couldn't sit quiet. Because of fire. A fire. Jeremiah said, I feel the word of God is in my bone like a fire. Me they tell God that too. Me they tell God that too. Me they tell God, send me now. But, and listen. God, listen. Let me give a testimony before me close. I'm about to close. God is on my side. The Bible said, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Her mean the church. The church which is his bride. Amen. You, God is in the midst of you. God is in the midst of me. I shall not be moved. 
God now make the let enemy laugh at us. God now leave us in, in his hand when we are condemned. Listen to me. Last month, last month, going into the, the beginning of the new month, I was about to get kicked out of the house that I was living in. Yes, that was another quote. Because situations, as me tell you, and circumstances, this is where the whole thing I come from. And me don't get kicked out of the house because me owe money. And believe you me, I, I give it, I give the testimony in another video that is on my page. If you watch my videos, if you follow my, my page, you will see. And I pray that you will share the videos, follow my page. Amen. And I respect every followers. And I welcome you. I welcome you. Continue to support my page. Amen. Praise be to God. Everything about my page, TikTok, Facebook. Amen. Praise be to God. And uh, YouTube, it's all about Jesus. Everything is all about Jesus. Nothing about me. One day before, the court sent bailiff to put me and my family out the door. One day before, God sent an angel. Me they have some money for move, never have enough. And God sent a woman of God, an angel. She never have the money to give it to me. But amen, she could have let borrow some money from a friend of hers to lend me 500 US dollars to put on the money that I need to move, to make up the money to move, and also for the moving truck. Somebody a testimony that one day before bailiff controlled me out of the house. And I was supposed to go to court that day. One day before, God come through for me. One day. Listen to me. Amen. I supposed to find 150,000 Jamaican dollar. And I know that by now on Monday, when me supposed to go pay the money, because I supposed to pay the money one day before the court date, I know that God is coming through. Not to mention other problems that, are, that amen occurs in my life. Because any, listen to me. The Bible said those that, we, we get the thing twisted up in them. Some people, what, what I see happen, listen, I was going to a church where a pastor said to me, send me curse. One to a long time. But the Bible said those that will live godly. Some people read the Bible, but they don't understand it and they interpret it wrong. The Bible said those that will live godly shall suffer persecution. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. This poor man crying the Lord's deliver him and save him all his trouble. We don't read the Bible. That's what the Bible said. Many are the afflictions. Some may have got through a whole heap of affliction and some people don't understand and then condemn it. One evangelist said to me, say, no pastor, something wrong here, so. so Some people look upon it in a negative way. Some, some would dare to want to say, I curse your curse. And the Bible said, many are the affliction. Those that will live godly will suffer persecution. You are going to suffer it through finance. You are going to suffer it through living in a people house having problem. Listen to me. You are not going to have an easy life, especially when you are living. You see the Christian, they will not live for God. I was talking to a believer from overseas. And you know what the believer said to me? Yes, look on Job. Job is one of them. As a perfect example, a believer, somebody over, overseas said to me that, Pastor, you are a real man of God. You know what I said? Me prove God in you. And even though you don't have no money and certain things not go on for you, you know, but you're real and than some of the pastors that are in the States. Because she said, she said, some of these pastors are living lavish life. Some of these ministers. We don't we not, we not grudge nobody and we don't speak ill of nobody. It's nothing like that. But praise God, when you're connected to Satan, because you have some people who connected to the devil, and the devil will bless you. The devil will give you thing where you want because you connect to darkness. You serve the enemy. So the devil going to give you, remember the same thing the devil said, you need your bowing. And if you bow to Satan, it's simple. If you bow to Satan, you get everything. Remember and tell Jesus, himself, if you fall down and worship me, mean if you bow, if you bow to the enemy, you're going to get everything. I'm going to give you the world. In short, Jesus, the world. Can you imagine? The world will belong to Jesus. The world was made by him. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. But unto them that receive him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God. So listen, Satan just need your bowing. Bow to Satan and you get money. So many ministers who have them private jet and live in lavish life and celebrities' life. You can be a celebrity and a live good life for God. 
and helping people doing what the Bible said. Because rich men was in the Bible. Jesus said, Amen, this rich young ruler. Jesus said, Go give everything and sell to the poor. Sell and give to the poor. And come and follow me. And you will have life everlasting in heaven. He went away sadly. Oh, hard it is for a rich man. So praise be to God. You got folks that are not going through anything. The enemy not doing certain things to some people because they're not serving God. They're serving the devil. They have church around, but they're not serving God. They're serving an entity. They're serving a deity. Amen. But it's not God. It is another spirit. A goddess spirit they are serving and bowing to. They bow to Satan. That's why you can get certain things. Don't get me wrong again. Please don't get me wrong. You can be serving God in spirit and in truth. And of course God can bless you with a private jet. Of course. God can give you cars. God can bless you with house. The Bible said Abraham was rich. Jacob was rich. Praise be to God. Esau did have great riches. The Bible said that. Let me read it for myself. So there are men in the Bible. Israel is rich. Mama Shata Bahaya. So of course God have rich people. But listen. God set up rich people and God set up poor people. Rich people have to be dear because the Bible said to remember that the poor is always with you. Give to the poor. Those that have positions and good in Acts chapter 2. And verse 40 something, sold and break their bread from us to us with singleness of heart. Then give to the poor. No one was lacking, the Bible said. To the church, Lord God, I when you lack. I you not have no food. Many people lost the sight back in the days. Back in the days when we just start out in church. I'm closing. Back in the days when I just start out in church. My mother never had money. For food, sometimes we go to church and worship God, and where we are going, the food in their yard. And before church over, or when church over, one church sister come run, come hug up my mother with a piece of paper in her hand, and her hand wrap up, and she shake my mother's hand and left the piece of paper. When by the time my mother reached out the road or down the road or in her house, and she woke up the paper and money wrap up in there, our envelope or something, and we can go buy food. And the person whispered in her ear said, the Lord said to bless you. Where there's something that they, you hardly hear people say right now, people have needs. Today the people still have need. The just shall live by faith. Your yeah, people are ball out to God. May I tell God, say, God, amen, you're not send the money come. You're not bless me with the money so I can pay off my debt. You know, say, God Almighty, demons, amen, touch my finance. And so God, may I pray against it. Praise God Almighty that you send release and send help and hoping about the financial doers. Send the destiny help and connect me. Shame the wicked. Shame the enemy. Mama handle about Shia. God is about to shame your enemies right now. Somebody who have financial issues just like me or even worse than me. God is about to shame your enemy. God is about to shame the wicked, the wicked them, because God has sent some people in your life, and the people them who God has sent in your life, God has make you can be able to see, because we have to have the eyes to can see and identify the blessing when it comes. If you don't have the eyes to see, you cannot identify the blessing. You will not be able to identify it. Hey, open down my eyes. Give me sight, Jesus. Shanda Saya. Hey, Shako, see, give me sight, Jesus. The Bible says, Philippians 4 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. I'm letting my request known right now that God Almighty may have a money issue and may call for money, may release it in the atmosphere. Money come, Lord, the people, them God who you set up because you are spirit. So God, the people them who you have to work through to send the help to people on this platform right now and people who will be watching this later or tomorrow or whenever they get the chance to watch this broadcast. God, send them help, send them money. I declare money. Give us the sight to see. Give us the sight, God, to amen, connect with our destiny helpers. My God. Somebody are the blessing. Ashanda. Proverbs 20 and verse 12. The hearing hear and the seeing see. 
The Lord had made them both. Lord God Almighty, God, let me not only hear, but let me see. Let me not only see, but let me hear. Because yeah, some people can't only see and can't hear. Some people can't hear and can't see. So God, let me both see and hear. Somebody tell God that you want both see and hear. Because somebody don't go see them and see alone and not hear. Somebody I hear them and hear alone and not see. Me no want go hear from God, me want can see too. Me no want to go see alone, me no want go see alone, me want hear too. Psalms 119, verse 130. The unfolding of your words gives light. It impacts understanding to the simple. You hear that somebody? You hear that somebody? It impacts. It edify. My God from heaven. Thank you Jesus. I'm closing. Somebody pray for me. I said somebody pray for me. Pray for my ministry. Pray for this broadcast. Pray Shako Messiah. Pray that the will of God continue to be done in my life. Sometimes it's rough. Shanda. You hear me somebody? Sometimes it's hard. The songwriter said fight me brave. Against all evil. Never run no evil look behind. If you win for God and the right. Kata Shanda. Just keep on the fiery line. Hmm. I am a Shanda. My God, this is a powerful word today. Somebody, you got to go ahead and share this platform, share this broadcast, because this is powerful. Isaiah 35 and verse 5 said, Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Your ears is stuffed up now, but your ears is going to be unstopped. Your eyes is going to be open. You're going to now see. I declare this in the realm of the spirit. I declare it in the atmosphere. St. Matthew. Amen. 16. And verse 17. Somebody. God is blessing you right now. Just by tuning into this word. God is blessing you now. You hear me? Just by tuning into this. Don't be selfish. Share it with somebody else. Praise God. And Jesus answered him. Blessed are you. Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood had not revealed this. Unto you. But my father. Who is in heaven. A him who opened Peter eyes. Peter Barjona. Mama Sha. God opened the Father, the Holy Ghost opened Peter's eyes that Peter could know Jesus and see who do you say that I am? After Jesus asked, who do men say? You have to have the hearing ears and the seeing eyes to can really see who Jesus is and know who Jesus is. If you're going to follow the world and say he's an antichrist, you're going to follow the world and just say he's a carpenter son. But for you, he is king of kings and lord of lords. He is the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Shandahaya. Eko Shatamasi. Hallelujah. I'm coming on the last one. Mark 8 and 25. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again. And he opened his eyes. His sight was restored. And he saw everything clearly. Listen to me. Me don't write yourself. Jesus putting his hands upon your eyes right now and your sight is now restored and you're going to see clearly. My God. Somebody, worship God no man. Send up some hallelujah in the chat. Ah, Satamashanda. Send up some hallelujah. We're closing. Send up some hallelujah in the chat. I mean, not able to put, to put amen, the, 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 the scripture on all the medias. Amen. Praise be to God for those on TikTok. I may not able, but you're hearing the scripture coming from my mouth. You can write it down. Take notes. 
Anytime you tune into this broadcast, bring your pen and your pencil. Take notes. Because my work with scripture. Yes, my work with scripture. I don't come on my own. I don't come and say nothing where God no say. I work with scripture to bring across the prophetic. Prophetic word. This is a prophetic ministry. And I work with scriptures. The word of God. Shanda Saya. So listen to me. God. Amen. According to St. Mark. 8 and 25. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again. And he opened his eyes. Hallelujah. His sight was restored and he saw everything clearly. Listen. I declare in the heavenlies, in the atmosphere, that as from this day forward, you going to see everything clearly. Because, listen, you're coming off this platform with your eyes, your sight being restored. Somebody type in the chat, man. It is restored. My sight is restored. Somebody type in the chat. My sight is restored. My sight is restored. Shanda Saya. I say my sight is restored. Hey, Kushai. Shato. Ushama Mahasi Ketosa. Mama Koto Shanda. My sight, la kushaya, yilo mama shanda, is restored. My sight, eh hey, shaya, is restored. Your sight is restored. My God. Hmm. Eh hey, shando robo sai. My sight, oto robo si. Shandio mahaya sai. Hey shako sata. Your sight is restored. I say your sight is restored. Your sight is restored, woman. In your household, your children's sight is restored. That person that is molesting your child and you're blind to it. You're a Christian, but you're blind. Some of you, amen, not saved. Praise God Almighty, you're not on your sight. But God, oh, your sight make you can know the truth. Sight of a reveal the truth. The sight of a reveal the truth. Sight of a make you know where I'm going in your house. Sight of a make you know where I'm going in your life. Sight of a make you know what that man did. Sight is going to reveal the truth. God said to tell you, sight is going to reveal the truth. Thus said the Holy Ghost, sight is going to reveal the truth. Sight is revealing the truth right now. Sight katasi kushendo hosa. Sight ilama shanda sato ketasia. Sight is gonna reveal your enemy. Sight is gonna reveal the wicked. Sight is gonna let you know who is behind your downfall. Who is behind? Hallelujah! Your parents don't fall. Who is behind your generation falling? Sight is gonna let you know because sight come with discernment. When you can see, seeing is revealing. Seeing is unfold, seeing is make known. Mama, who did the Diando shed the bosa? Kaya hasito robosai. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I want to close the platform. But if you have been blessed, I'm not even going to use the word if, because I know you're blessed. You are blessed by this platform. Praise be to God. As I saw into your spirit today, as I sow into your life, as I sow into your house, because this word comes for all soul. This word is global. This word is not only for individual, but it is for families. It is for global. It is for country. It is for generation. It is for country. It is for nation. It is for city. Mama Sata Basaya. Hallelujah. Bring back your testimony. And come and let somebody know that God truly come true. God truly is on this platform. Pray for me. Because, amen, I'm just picking up back with my ministry online. Because I was doing it good as ever. Amen. And the enemy come in. And the enemy mess up things. And slow me up because of the circumstances. But God give me sight. And make me know because many of my downfall. Can I give you a secret, somebody? Can I tell you something? Can I reveal it? Because praise be to God. Amen. Prophet or somebody will reveal and talk things. 
Can I let you know? Many of my situations and circumstances, many of my downfall, many of my fight are come from church folks. Yes, it are come from officers, church members. Many of my downfall, many obstacles that I have, many witchcraft for me got to a church it are come out of. I, I don't like to talk these things, but I've got to be real. So watch yourself, even though you go to church, watch yourself where you go. The church where you go, watch yourself, watch the pastor, watch the apostle, watch the bishop. No matter how they can preach good and they speak in tongues good, watch all me too. Because the devil can jump in anybody. Jesus, amen, was sitting at the table with his 12 disciples. And Jesus, while he break bread at the Lord's Supper, and about to share his body and his blood, break his body and blood and give them. Jesus said, Amen. Somebody righteous have to betray me. And him said, The one that dip with me in the dish shall betray me. And him looked upon Judas and said, That which thou doest, doest it quickly. Praise be to God. The Judas had dip with you, I eat out of your pot. Judas, you are, you are so seed all not Judas' life, your girl, Judas, your money. The same one we are trying to destroy, we are trying to kill you, we are trying to mash up your marriage, I try to mash up your ministry, I try to mash up your life. And the same thing me encounter. The same people, the same folks, not the whole church, not everybody, but there are certain individuals who are working for the devil, who are Satan inch man, who allow the devil to use them. Some people with bitterness, remember the Bible said. Satan was perfect until iniquity was found in him. His wisdom was corrupted. So iniquity is found in people and any how you regard iniquity in your heart, God will not hear you. Iniquity is witchcraft. And many people right now, many pastors, bishops, apostles, prophets, prophetess, many ministers, deacon, elder, Lord God, missionaries, Lord Jesus Christ, floor members, many of them right now, iniquity is found in them. They corrupt them wisdom. The wisdom of God that was given to many, they corrupt it. That's what the Bible said, Ezekiel chapter 23, 23. Tell us that Satan corrupt his wisdom. Iniquity was found in him. Iniquity is found in many people right now. Watch everybody. How when you are giving them your things. And some people you have to withhold giving because if you sow seed from bad ground, it's going to mess up your finance. Many of your finance mess up because you sow seed in the wrong people's life. When you sow seed in the Obia worker life, that's what's going to happen. They take your money and mash you up with witchcraft. Because your money, can you imagine you send money down to a family member? You mean them well. And I try to help them. And then take your money down and walk them. And I walk your, your own money where you walk and sweat for. Then I walk your own money for you. Somebody on this line. Somebody that is watching or going to watch this platform, this broadcast. Amen. Somebody who you have been giving. You're giving to the wrong somebody. And that same person that try to mash you up with your own sweat. Your own money. Let that soak. That's why Satan tries to get me off of social media. Yes, then the devil try to shut down my ministry. I went to preach at a church a couple Sundays ago, and when we done the past, the bishop said to me, Murray, the enemy will shut you down and shut down your ministry. Why? Because you can see and can and talk. And if the enemy can silence you and shut you up. But today we silent the enemy. What the enemy is, what the enemy meant for evil, with God turned into good. What the enemy want to do to us, we declare it happen. It backfire upon the wicked. It backfire upon the kingdom of darkness. If the devil want to shut me down, the enemy in turn gets shut down. The enemy become blind, deaf, and dumb. Lord God, and everything that want to, want to happen to me, it will happen to the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you today, everybody. God prosper you. God made his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And give you peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, shalom, enough love, until, amen, I come back on this platform again. Amen, enough respect to you all, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen, God is good and his mercy is endured forever. God bless you, pray for me, praise be to God, and pray, amen, help me pray, as I declare in the atmosphere, declare the atmosphere of my life, destiny helper, me want to buck up in them, me want to find them, connect with them, contact them. Praise be to God. 
so that because, amen, the help is there, but it's to find the help. I declare that we find the help that we need. The help that God has for us, I declare that we find it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God said, if you seek me, you will find me. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray me up. Amen. I'll be back with you again with another word from the Holy Ghost. Just pray for me in Jesus' name. Pray for my household. Amen. And all the problems that you hear, the court case, pray for the court case too. That God, victory already is mine. But pray. Because, amen, the church in Acts was gazing. They were relaxing and comfortable. And allow, amen, James to be killed with the sword by Herod. Praise God. And then after that, he stretches on again and take Peter. And Peter was supposed to be killed as well. But the Bible said prior was not seized. Prior was made known for Peter. Until prior delivered Peter out of prison. Somebody pray for me. Your prior will deliver me from jail. Your prior will deliver me out of this debt. Your prior will help me to get back a building. Amen. Along with anything else God put on your heart to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Love you. Amen. In Jesus name. Have a great day now. A fantastic day. Amen. Shalom. God bless. Enough love. In Jesus name. Thank you.